In this video, I will teach you the number one most efficient way to farm combat XP in a high pixel skyblock. Now before we start, if you do enjoy this video at any point, I would encourage you to subscribe and leave a like on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. But enough of that, let's begin. Now there are a couple things you'll need before you can be able to farm combat XP as efficiently as possible. The first one, and probably the most important, is you're going to need a spicy aspect of the end. Now, Crafting this is almost impossible. You're gonna have to grind Enderman for a while to get that. So I would recommend buying this off of AH. You can get it for maybe 50 to 100k, just normal, and then try to reforge it, get spicy on it, and then get a whole bunch of enchants. Primarily, I would focus on sharpness, critical, first strike, life steal, and ender slayer. Those are probably the most important enchants that you want to get on this sword for the way to farm XP. If you have a better sword that can do more damage, then I would use that instead and if you have but i would recommend getting something at least about as good as an aspect to the end you could probably get by with a ember rod but i would try to get the aspect to the end anyways the next thing you'll want is either dragon armor or ender armor and i'd reforge it to get unpleasant or godly because that'll give you more crit damage and crit chance lastly the final thing you'll need is a whole bunch of talisman Personally, I have most of mine reforged to Itchy. That's just because I need more crit damage. I'm already at 80% crit chance with a couple of mine still on Zealous and Godly, so it's totally up to you what you want to reforge them to, but I did Itchy. Now, as you all can probably guess, we're going to be doing this in the end because the Ender Ring just gives so much combat XP, and there's a secret to doing this that involves Enderman. Now, once you're in the end, you're going to want to stay in just the normal and don't go down to the Dragon's Nest. You're going to want to stay here. And just try hitting an enderman and see how much damage you do. There you can see I did 8100 damage, so I can one hit the 4500 HP enderman and the 6000 HP enderman, but I cannot one hit the ones at the very bottom with 9000 HP. Now if you cannot one hit the enderman with 4500 HP, this may not work as good because you're going to be able to at least one hit them. But you still will be able to do it to some extent, it'll just be less efficient. Now because I can one hit the 6000 HP Enderman, I'm going to go down here to farm them. And as you can see right now, I'm at about 12,000 combat XP. And I need to get to 75,000, so I'm going to teach you, you're going to want to have at least 3 stacks of Ender Pearls in your inventory. And all you have to do is notice when you throw an Ender Pearl, I take 1 heart of damage because I've got a lot of HP. And endermen will spawn that are automatically aggroed onto you now you may be thinking well how am i supposed to abuse this to get combat xp well the endermen that you spawn from the ender pearls will still give combat xp which is very abusable because if you are pearl spamming and you die from a pearl damage you will not head all the way to the very top of the end you will actually respawn right where you die this in essence allows you to do something like this As you can see, just from that, I gained about 1,000 combat XP in about maybe 15 to 30 seconds that it took me to do that. Now, in 15 to 30 seconds, you might be able to kill, like, maybe, like, five Endermen in the end without using this method. But when you use it, you can spawn so many Endermen in because when you die, the only thing you lose is your coins and you respawn right where you died. Now, keep in mind, if you do die to an Enderman, you will actually respawn back at spawn. So you don't want to die to the Enderman. That's where Lifesteal helps because when you have Lifesteal, as you deal damage to them, you gain damage. So that is very helpful. Now, if this still doesn't make sense, all you have to do is just throw Ender Pearls at the ceiling of the end and those pearls will spawn an Enderman and so long as you just keep holding down your right click to throw those pearls, they have no pearl cooldown so you can just throw as many as you want to without having any effects. Now I'm going to do a small time lapse here just to show you how this works and I will see you in the outro.
All right, so that was about five minutes of grinding, and now I was at 13,000 combat XP, and now I'm at 21 combat XP. So if I'm doing my math correctly, that's about 8,000 XP you can gain every five minutes. And keep in mind, I still can't one-hit the 9,000 HP Enderman, so if you can one-hit the 9,000 HP Enderman, they give you way more combat XP than the 6,000 HP, so you could probably be gaining up to 10,000 XP every five minutes. Another good bonus from this is you can get Ender Armor super easily, so. Anyways, I hope this video did help you out and helps you gain combat XP much quicker. Share this with a friend so they can gain, gain combat XP as well, and other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next video. Peace out.